Most of us would agree that you cannot summon energy out of thin air. Yet, turns out, energy can be extracted from a vacuum by energy transportation at a quantum level. A quantum vacuum is a weird type of nothing. The laws of physics do not allow any system to settle down to a state of exactly zero energy. Therefore, even a vacuum must have fluctuations in the quantum fields that engulf it. These fluctuations fill every field with a certain amount of energy, called zero-point energy. A system with this type of energy is known to be in the ground state. It is sort of like a car parked on a street. Even though it is above sea level, it cannot go any lower. Yet, research seems to have found an underground garage. But don't get too excited. These fluctuations cannot be used to power a perpetual motion machine, since these fluctuations are completely random. Imagine hooking up an imaginary quantum battery to a vacuum. Half the fluctuations would charge the battery and half of them would drain away the power. Despite this, we know that quantum fields are entangled, which means the fluctuations in one spot tends to match the fluctuations in another spot. Confused? So let's instead imagine two physicists, Anna and Bob. Bob needs energy because he wants to charge that imaginary quantum battery. But all he has around him is empty space. Thankfully, his friend Anna has a fully equipped physics lab in a far-off location. Anna measures the field in her lab, injecting energy into it and learning about its fluctuations. This experiment will bump the overall field out of the ground state. But as far as Bob can tell, his vacuum remains in the minimum energy state, randomly fluctuating. But then Anna texts Bob about the findings of the vacuum around her location, which basically tells Bob when to plug in his battery. He can then use this new knowledge to prepare an experiment that extracts new energy from the vacuum, but only up to the amount injected by Anna. Bob can't extract more energy than Anna has put in, so energy is conserved. But Annie lacks the necessary knowledge to extract the energy until Anna sticks, so no effect travels faster than light. Thus, this will not violate any physical principles. These are no ideas of science fiction. Yet, scientific ideas that have been experimentally verified. In this future, this phenomenon can help stabilize quantum computers and influence the study of heat, energy, and entanglement in quantum systems. It is exciting to learn that such phenomena are possible, an example of how scientists make connections between different scientific concepts.